What's up guys, Jamie Bond, Fish Blue Water, coming to you with a very cool tips and tricks video. So I've got my man, Mike Calabrese, to my right here. Thanks for joining me, Mike. So Mike has been fishing my tournaments for many years, but he has also fished all around the globe, chasing blue marlin, billfish, and what we've got behind me is a really cool product that this guy has developed and created himself, um, and called Fire Tails and got a dredge system that he uses on all these boats that he fishes on, obviously, to target these billfish. So we're gonna show you today, with his system, how to rig up your own dredge rod. So about 10 years ago, I started working on a private boat that we did a lot of trolling, uh, particularly down in East of Mojeres, Mexico. Right. Uh, a lot of sailfish, dredge fishing. And, um, you know, I learned pretty quickly there that it didn't really matter how many natural baits you had you could rig 100 baits. If you were in the wrong spot, you weren't gonna catch anything. And uh, so I quickly realized that uh, this day in, day out fishing, I had to make my life a little easier, save the boss some money. Sure. And um, I wasn't particularly happy with the options of artificials out there. So I started thinking up some stuff and uh, came up with these dredge strips, which pull extremely light and swim really good. Uh, Weedless, a lot of good things about them. So, so um, this is the this is the fire tail product, right? That's a fire tail dredge strip, and, and um, pretty split cool. Split in half like that. Yeah. So, how did you like Just from a from a from a I guess a creativity standpoint? How did you come up with this idea? Well, I saw a lot of boats using these flaps that were stiff, and they were using a lot of underwater camera stuff on there. And I was noticing that there was not a lot of movement on the dredge. Um, I started thinking of other ways to make more movement and eventually got to these strips, uh, fishing bonita strips in South Florida, I like to planer fish for Wahoo a lot. Sure. And there's, it's tough to beat a swimming bonita strip. And I figured, man, what if you could do a dredge with all strips? And um, found this vinyl material and R&D, playing around, messing with my camera underwater and finally found something that works really well, so. Okay, so before, so as we start to get into like building this dredge, which, we have the completed system, mm -hmm. not completed, it's it's probably what, Mike, Yep. 80% there? Right, so we'll leave our artificial stuff clipped on just for the sake of ease. Um, and then when we go fishing, we will attach our natural baits as well. And so this is um, this is a three-tiered umbrella is a, system. Is that, yeah. pretty, is that pretty standard as far as how guys fish the dredges? Yeah, two or three tiers, depending on how elaborate you want to get. Um, some folks think the more the merrier. Uh, essentially, so, so when we say tier, we're saying tier one, tier two, correct, tier three down here, correct. And a lot of folks they'll go with artificials on the inside or on the front tiers. As you get closer to the back, you might put some real bait on there to try to uh, get the fish's attention more, get them, you know, to smell something perhaps. But uh, and yeah. so these uh, these dredge bars, mm -hmm. talk for a second about like what are they made of? Uh, if somebody wants to obviously purchase these once they watch this video to put this together. Mm -hmm. um, these are... Um, how, where do they find it? What's yep. it made of? All your all your tackle shops are going to carry dredge stuff. Uh, these I custom rig with heat shrink. Uh, I feel like it takes some of the light off the actual dredge itself, some of the sun glare. Um, also helps prevent scratching on your boat. Um, this, and is basically, a, and this is a fish razor product? Fish razor. Makes okay. some great dredges. Um, okay. And this is a 36 inch dredge. Uh, they come in all different sizes, and depending on how you want to fish, you can get, you know, two per arm, three per arm. That's all up what to What size user. is this on the second tier? Is that this is also this is a 42 on top. 42, this is a 42 up here. 36, and then a, a 12 inch nugget. We'll call that. Okay. And um, you know, typically guys will do it descending in size to try to mimic a natural bait school. Okay. Um, as far as as far as that goes, you can get cre as creative as you want. Uh, there's no limitations or set way to do something so that's part of the fun of dredge fishing is building a pretty dredge that you know you think is going to help you catch fish so. awesome all right so let's get technical now um this is the first time for me i'm so pumped we're actually getting ready to go out and fish these things here offshore but um how do you build a dredge let's show them a little bit in terms yeah. of these swivel systems and, and right. what goes on them we're going to be mixing some some natural bait in yep. here as well with mm -hmm. these artificial fire tails so yep. How do so, we do that? Yeah, so all these dredges, uh, you can buy them. They come with these attachment points on here. Um, like I said, the artificials typically will leave clipped on. And then 
Uh, when it comes time to go fishing in the morning, you'll get your bait, which once again, this is dependent upon, you know, have, having help or the wherewithal to, to do it. But, um, you know, you can use all artificials or you can use bait. Um, this is a ballyhoo we're gonna go with today. Simple pin rig with a spring, which is about as simple as it gets. Um, and all you do here, first thing we're gonna do is crack the back of the bait a little bit to soften him up so he can swim good. And then we're just gonna clip him on. And these, these little snaps I like, their stuff doesn't fall off, but it's as simple as that. You just roll them on there. Same with these guys, simple rolling on. And uh, yeah, we'll get a uh, we'll get a tight shot for you guys watching this video where you can see what this swivel looks like, and you can actually see how he rolls it right on um, to the end of the swivel. Right. It's, so we're I gonna, mean, it's really so easy. A caveman could do it. So, put our baits on the dredge here. Usually in the morning is what we do before we go fishing. You want to time that so your bait's not sitting out on the deck too long, getting hot. But we're just fishing out front today, so we're good to go and we will connect all of our baits. The key, to a, key to a dredge is you want balance. You can do anything you want as long as it's balanced and symmetrical. You don't want it spinning underwater or anything like that. Now, Mike, I see as you're, as you're rigging these baits up, the, um, the connection between each of these spreader bars is looks to be like probably 500 yep. plus pound braided cable. Yep, some heavy duty cable there. Uh, one thing that's very important in dredge fishing is to ensure that all your connections are secure and proper. Um, I'm big on going heavy on stuff. I like cable in between dredges. Um, chafe gear where applicable, um, heavy duty swivels, etc. cetera. Uh, the worst thing is when you spend all this money on something, put all the work into it and it goes away because you oh, kind of screwed up something up in the connection. So, no doubt. Uh, yeah, very important just to make sure everything's right and all that stuff, once you do it a few times, it really, it's really like riding a bike. It's super easy. All right, So let's get the rest of these ballyhoo yeah. on there. Yeah, the key with anything, and you know, it's a little intimidating this dredge thing, but in all honesty, once you do it, it's quite simple, and our goal is to make it as easy as possible for folks to get out there and do it. All right, so that's her. All right. We got a three-tier dredge, fire tails up front, and what this does is it gives you a lot more density in the dredge. <laughs> <We're gaming. laughs> um, you're achieving a large school of bait with actually here, we only have 12 real baits on this dredge, but we have 18, 30, 36 baits on this thing. So um, creates a nice footprint underwater there. Get some fish's attention, hopefully. If I was a fish, I definitely would uh, spend some time. Yeah. It would get my attention, I know that yeah. much. So, all right, so as far as we're gonna show them once we go out fishing, how we deploy this off of uh, the Jim Lux uh, dredge boom rod, mm -hmm. but um, you were talking about uh, the weight, obviously, to get this yep. down below the surface of the water. What do we yep. got there? How does that work? So this guy's complete, and all we need now is the weight on the front. Um, we use these big fish-shaped leads. Coated is nicer on the boat, and uh, once again, proper connections, uh, steel cable, heavy-duty snap swivel, and we're just going to clip that on the front of the dredge, like so. And then this guy will connect to your pulley system on the dredge reel and boom. And uh, we'll get to that in a sec, but this, this weight here will keep the dredge underwater at the speed we're doing, six, seven, eight knots. Um, yeah, so that'll keep her down. Well, all I can say is uh, I'm impressed, bro, at the ingenuity. Um, I've, I've fished some strip teasers and some stuff like that sail fishing in the past. Um, never done any of this, so like I said, I, I can't wait to actually put these in the water and awesome. uh, try something out new. So like I said, we're about to throw these on these dredge boom rods um, on another trip that we're doing here with uh, Native Sun. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out now. Dredge fishing aboard the Native Sun. Hopefully we're going to get tight on some sails and some mahi and all that stuff. Yep, let's do Mike, it. Mike, you're the man, great product, and we've got more how-to's coming from Mike Calabrese from Firetails. Thank you.